Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here just welcome and I really hope that you will stick around but anyway in this video I will be showing and teaching you how to create a heart granny square which was actually a request from one of my subscribers I assume who asked uh, uh, under one of the videos in the comment section if it would be possible for me to create also this type of tutorial so I did some research and I actually realized that there aren't that many very good and well explained tutorials on hard granny squares so I realized that I really have to do that and then I did also some experimenting with uh, creating multiple squares until I actually found out the best solution on how to do that and what would be the, the most easiest uh, way of creating them and also to make sure that it actually looks like a heart so that took me a while and I had to create multiple of them but by the end I actually managed to create a super good one that really works and actually looks like a heart and also has this square shape that we are looking for when creating granny squares so this is what I'm going to teach you today in this video so let's jump into it so here I have the materials that I'm going to use and here I have cotton yarn which is four ply and I'm using these two colors, so darker red and white. And here I have also a crochet hook. I'm using 3.5 millimeters for this project. And you will also need some scissors. And here are already some hearts uh, that I have made earlier. So this is what we are basically going to replicate in this video. First, I will be starting with this darker red color, which will be used to establish the heart shape in the middle of the granny square. And the first step for us is to do a magic ring. And to do that, basically grab the yarn and tie it around your fingers like this to establish an X shape here on your fingers. And then just grab your crochet hook and go under the first piece of yarn like that and then grab the second piece of yarn to get a loop on your hook and then just chain three so one two and three so here we have the chain of three and now you can take out your fingers and just make sure that you keep the shape of the ring as well as you have this piece of yarn hanging around there and now the next step for us is to do 12 double crochets here in the magic ring. So if you're not familiar with double crochets, I'm just going to show you now. So basically you first have to yarn over and then go through the magic ring, grab some yarn and pull it through to have three loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through first two, you have two loops and then yarn over again and pull through the remaining two. So this is one double crochet and now just do 11 more. So just yarn over, go through ring, grab some yarn to have three loops, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two and repeat until you have 12 double crochets in total. So here I have completed all 12 double crochets and whenever you are doing double crochets in the magic ring just make sure that you are also you still are keeping this uh, piece of yarn that you have in the beginning. And once that's done we can basically tighten the magic ring just by pulling this piece of yarn that we have here and just close it and it will establish a nice circular shape which is what we are actually going for and now we can finalize this round uh, just by doing a slip stitch to connect it so we will be going into this uh, chain of three that we did in the very beginning and we will be going through the final third chain at the very top so pulling uh, or pushing your our uh, crochet hook through grabbing some yarn and pulling it through and then pulling it through the loop that we already had on our hook. So our ring, or basically our first round is now finalized and we can proceed further with the second round. 
So for the second round uh, or during the second round, we will establish the heart shape. So without doing any chains at all, we will be skipping the following stitch and going into the uh, stitch after that. And in that stitch, we will be doing eight triple crochets. So to do a triple crochet, you have to yarn over twice, then go through the stitch that we have there, grab some yarn and pull it through. And now you should have four loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through two. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two again to have two loops on your hook and yarn over again and pull through remaining two. And that's uh, a triple crochet. And then just repeat it for seven more times until you have eight triple crochets in one stitch. So all of them goes in the same uh, space and then we will be able to move forward. So just yarn over twice, pull the yarn through and pull through two, pull through two and pull through two and repeat until you have eight triple crochets in the same space. So here I have completed eight triple crochets and now we can move forward uh, to the next stitch which is in here. It might be hiding a little bit, so just make sure that you are double counting everything that you are doing. And in the following stitch, uh, in the next stitch, we will be doing one double crochet. And then we can go to the next stitch where we will be doing one double crochet. And in the same space, we will also do one half double crochet. So for half double crochet, yarn over, go through the stitch and pull the yarn through to have three loops, then yarn over and pull through all three of them. So both of those stitches went into one. And then we move forward with the next where we will do two half double crochets in one. So one and two. And then in the following, we will do one half double crochet and one double crochet. like that and as you can see now we have basically done one half uh, of the heart and now we just have to mirror everything that we have done but before we do that uh, just chain one and now we can move to the next stitch on the other side so first we are starting with one double crochet and one half double crochet in the same stitch then in the following stitch we will do two half double crochets and then after that one half double crochet and one double crochet in the same space like that and after that we are doing one double crochet in one like this and then in this next one we again have to do eight triple crochets in one space so that's one and now just seven more to get eight in total so here I have completed all eight triple crochets and now we just have to finalize the round so we will be doing the same thing as we did in the beginning we will be skipping the stitch that which is the following one and just doing a slip stitch here in the very beginning. So just going through the stitch that we have there, pulling the yarn through and grabbing some yarn and then pulling the yarn through the loop that we already had on our hook. So that's that. And then just chaining one and making the loop a little bit longer, grabbing our scissors and just cutting it off. And now we can kind of tighten this piece, uh, which will help us to establish like a secure knot. And we are done with our heart and it looks super cute. And also if you feel like this ring is getting a little bit looser, then just feel free to go on the left side and just tighten it by pulling and you will get a nicer, like a 
closer shape. And now we can proceed with the following round, which will help us to establish the square shape. So for the following round, I will be starting with the, the white yarn. And first we will have to attach it to the heart. And actually for this round, we will be turning our heart with the tip uh, up. So that's how we will start. And we will first be going through the uh, double crochet that we have right before the chain that we did here. So we are going through this stitch where we will attach the yarn and I normally like to attach it just by doing a secure knot because I feel like in that way it will be more secure. And then I just pull the yarn through to get a loop, chaining one and then doing our first single crochet. So for single crochet, you don't have to yarn over at all. Just go through the uh, stitch, grab some yarn to get two loops on your hook in total, then yarn over and pull through both of them. So that's our first stitch for this round. Then the next one that we have is this chain of one that we did here. And for that one, we will actually be going through the back loop that we have for this uh, chain. So going through the one of the loops that is on the back side and grabbing the yarn and pulling it through and pulling it through the loop on our hook. So basically we just did a slip stitch. And then we are moving on with the other side and we will be doing a single crochet there. So just going through the stitch, grabbing yarn to have two loops and then yarning over and pulling it through both of them like that. And then in the following stitch, we will do half double crochet like that. And then in the next one, double crochet. And now we have basically reached the corner part. So for the corner on this side, we will do one double crochet as the first stitch and then one triple crochet in the same space like that. So once that's done, just chain three. And now we are moving to the next stitch where we will first do one triple crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch like that. So we have established the corner and here it's just important to note that it's rather in two stitches than being in one. That normally is the process with the regular granny squares. But now let's move forward with the next stitch and we will do one double crochet in there. And then in the following one, we will do half double crochet and one single crochet in the same space. And for the next stitch, one single crochet, and then for the following two single crochets in the same space. Like that. And then one half double crochet. And now we can reach the corner part again. So first we will be doing one half double crochet and one double crochet in the same space like that. And then just chain three and now move to the next stitch to complete the corner. So first we are doing one double crochet followed by one half double crochet like that. And then one half double crochet in one stitch and another one in the following stitch. And then in the next one, we are going to do one double crochet like that. And now we have reached the middle uh, of this heart. So here in the very middle, we will do one triple crochet. So just going through where we have this uh, knot that we did before and doing one triple crochet like that. 
and now we have again completed half of this part so now again we just have to mirror everything that we just did so as the next uh, we are going into the following stitch and we will do uh, one double crochet in there like that then we have half double crochet in two following stitches and then again we have reached the corner where we will first do one half double crochet and then one double crochet and then again chaining three and in the next stitch doing one double crochet and one half double crochet like that and then again going to the next one with half double crochet then doing two single crochets in the same stitch then one single crochet in the next one and then one single crochet in the following together with one half double crochet like that and then in the following we have one double crochet and then again we have reached the corner where we will first do one double crochet together with one triple crochet and then chaining three and then again moving to the next bit or the next chain where we will do one triple crochet together with one double crochet like that and then in the following stitch we are doing one double crochet and in the next one one half double crochet so now we have completed this round and we can connect it by doing a slip stitch in the first stitch that we did in the very beginning so going through that stitch grabbing the yarn pulling it through and pulling it through the loop on the hook and now we can proceed with the final round and for the final round we will basically be doing um, double crochets all the way around but before we do that uh, it's just important to maybe count the stitches that we already have and as you know in the first round we did uh, 12 double crochets and chain of three and then for the heart shape which was our second round in total we had 30 stitches as well as here we had one chain and here we had one connection point so basically we can say that in total it was 32 stitches and now at the final round that we just did we have 44 stitches in total so 11 stitches on each side so make sure just to count that in case if something is wrong or something is missing but now let's continue with the final round which will help us to feed and make our square a little bit bigger as well as to establish more concrete shape and before we do that uh, let's just chain two and now we can start with doing uh, double crochets in on top of every single stitch that we have so just go all the way around and do double crochets so here i have done a couple of them and i have reached the first corner so in the corners uh, i will be doing two double crochets so one and two and then chaining three one two and three and then doing again two double crochets in the same space so that's one and two and once that's done we can move forward with the next side and doing double crochets on top of every single stitch there so just continue doing that until you have gone all the way around and i will meet you back again when i will be connecting uh, the round together so now i have completed the round with dull double crochets and now we can finalize it just by connecting it 
So again, I will be just doing a slip stitch here in the first stitch that we did, pulling the yarn through and pulling it through the loop on our hook. And we have finalized the round. If you wish, you're more than welcome to add some extra rounds with uh, double crochets or any other stitches that you wish. But for me, this will be it. So I will be just chaining one, pulling the loop uh, longer, and then just cutting it off with my scissors like that. And then by pulling this piece, we can tighten it to create a secure knot. And our granny square is final. So it looks super cute and you're more than welcome to create multiple of them. So you can connect them and make a bag, a t-shirt, uh, a top or anything that you wish. So uh, the world is yours and uh, I hope this will inspire you to do some amazing uh, crochet creations. So that was basically it from me today and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this tutorial is going to be helpful for you if you're planning to do any crochet projects which in particular involves some granny squares with heart shapes and so on. I really think that this will be perfect for Valentine's Day so if you already want to start preparing for that you're more than welcome and I really hope that it will be helpful and you will be able to create some multiple creative do crochet creations so I'm really looking forward to actually see them so if you create something then feel free to share it with me either here or on social media like Instagram and I will be super glad to see that but yeah I hope you enjoyed and if you did please give me a big thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe and I will see you in the next videos bye